Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Christians in Rome, addresses the futility and frustration that we experience in life. We work hard, we struggle, and we strive, and very often we feel as though we accomplish little or nothing. And so Paul has some words of encouragement to offer to us. He says that God, God's power, God's power that is present in the Holy Spirit, transforms our frustration into hope. The transformation comes about not by our effort, but by God's power and strength in the Holy Spirit. We can't even manage to muster the words to express what we need. All we can manage to come up with are groans. But God knows what we need and meets us in our weakness. Our Bible reading for today comes from the letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 22 through 27. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible. We know that the whole creation is groaning together and suffering labor pains up until now. And it's not only the creation. We ourselves who have the Spirit as the first crop of the harvest also groan inside as we wait to be adopted and for our bodies to be set free. We were saved in hope. If we see what we hope for, that isn't hope. Who hopes for what they already see? But if we hope for what we don't see, we wait for it with patience. In the same way, the Spirit comes to help our weakness. We don't know what we should pray, but the Spirit himself pleads our case with unexpressed groans. The one who searches hearts knows how the Spirit thinks because he pleads for the saints, consistent with God's will. Isaac of Nineveh, or as he is also known as Isaac the Syrian, he lived in the 6th century. He was born in Kurdistan, and for some years he, he served as a bishop of the church, and then he retired to a monastery. Isaac wrote a prayer that he addressed to the Holy Spirit. It expresses complete trust in the Spirit's power the power to transform his whole life, to transform his whole life such that it becomes prayer. Holy Spirit, dwell in me that I may become prayer. Whether I sleep or wake, eat or drink, labor or rest, may the fragrance of prayer rise without effort in my heart. Purify my soul and never leave me, so that the movements of my heart and mind may, with the voices of full sweetness, sing in secret to God. Isaac is asking the Holy Spirit to transform every aspect of his life, his sleeping and his waking, his eating and his drinking, his working and his resting. Prayer rising without effort. Imagine that. It is with this complete reliance upon the power of the Holy Spirit that things really begin to happen in our lives, things that make a difference. For your prayer time today, try to sit and relax. Get just as comfortable and relaxed as you possibly can. May you feel yourself truly resting. And then, as you do that, sense the, the Holy Spirit's presence in your very breath. And as you become aware of the Spirit's presence in your breath, may you feel the Spirit's power rising within you.